60 minutes. But for now, that's your news and weather together. We'll see you then, Vince. Thank you. There is an extra question on next week's ballot for voters in the city of Milwaukee. It has no binding power. It's simply advisory, but it does speak volumes about the future or what Milwaukeeans hope is the future of same-day voter registration. Here's the question it asks, should the state of Wisconsin continue to permit people to register to vote on Election Day? But is this question even necessary? Fox 6 is AJ Bipore. He's got the answer. Milwaukee Mayor Tom Barrett casts an in-person absentee ballot for next week's spring election. We know he's voting yes on the question of whether to continue same-day voter registration. We think, first of all, it would be much more expensive for the state to take away and abolish uh, same-day voting, but uh, same-day registration. Barrett's concerns are backed by a GAB report that concludes it would cost the state 13 to 14.5 million dollars to get rid of same-day registration. The GAB says those costs would be driven by Wisconsin needing to comply with federal laws, such as registering voters at the DMV. Wisconsin is currently exempt from those laws because it's one of 10 states that allow same-day registration. Just in November of last year, we had one in five voters in the city of Milwaukee that was 54,000 people register to vote and vote on election day. It's popular in the city, but do Milwaukee officials really need to defend same-day registration? Governor Scott Walker said in December he was no longer interested in changing the policy because of the costs associated with doing so. There are still some legislators who uh, I believe are interested in abolishing it. And, and we have seen, for example, with AB 54, legislators who want to restrict the hours for early voting. I consider all this part of the war, war on voters. Assembly Bill 54 would set standard hours across the state for early voting. The bill sponsor, Dewey Strobel of Saukville, says it's a matter of setting consistent early voting times across the state and mentions nothing about same-day registration. And again, this advisory referendum has no direct impact on state law. Supporters say it's simply about sending a message to state lawmakers to keep same-day registration as it is. Our calls to the governor's office today were not returned. Live in the newsroom, AJ Bayapur, Fox 6 News. All right, AJ, thank you. The pressure of the tournament increases when you reach the Sweet 16. Well, will the Golden Eagles feel it? Their expectations coming up next in sports.